Why are so many flies in old paintings? Fly representation enthusiast Professor Jelly here, and today we talk about the Musca Depicta, our painted fly page, on this episode of Weird Wikipedia. If you start looking through a gallery of 15th century paintings, there's going to be one insect that keeps making a very strange cameo, the fly. Oftentimes with very little connecting it to the rest of the painting. Here's a portrait with a fly. Here's a still life with a fly. You get a fly. You get a fly. Everybody gets a fly. But why a fly? Well, like most tropes, it can mean different things under different circumstances. Sometimes it's there just to make the world feel more lived in, sometimes it's there to show the painter's artistic ability, and sometimes it's just there as a joke. But more often than not, it's used to represent death or corruption. It represents your sin. And the fly's association with death in art can be traced back to its association with the biblical demon Beelzebub, who is known as the Lord of the Flies, which is not the greatest PR move for the flies. The lowly fly adding the seat into the imagined world, symbolizing the imperfection that all things must carry. Also because old painters were continuous jokesters, there's stories circulating about how the fly was specifically designed to make you believe that there was an actual fly on the painting, such as this one where you have one sitting on the painted frame of this portrait. And there's these famous anecdotes about painters who painted the fly that was so realistic that their master swatted the painting to scare away the fly. I also have to say that painting a fly is kind of like rebellion against the art world because what can be more humbling than a fly? It instantly <laughs> debases like any subject. And some people claim that these flies have a more magical reasoning behind them. These explanations claim that the fly is there to protect from the so-called evil eye by distracting it from the rest of the painting, serving as a protective symbol, which is possible because these things are distracting. Once you see it, you cannot look away. But why are they everywhere? Well, that's a little bit harder to say. The best single answer is probably that they were copying others. It's kind of like the numbered balloon thing for your birthday. It was in the Ramen Thick video, and then it spread through Instagram, and then it evolved into like a common occurrence. So like one painter would do it, and another one would see it, and he'd be like, Eureka, I should place this disgusting animal that feeds all feces in my painting of the Lord. Thank you, brain. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say here is scientifically, Robin Thick is a fly. <laughs> there is a fly in my painting and I don't know how to get it out. So flies may symbolize death, but nothing symbolizes death better than dying, a lot of which happened in the St. Scholastica school riot, of which I made a video about right here. You should watch. 